My name is Pio Abad. I'm an artist. I'm the co-curator of the exhibition Pasita Abad Life in the Margins here at Spike Island. And crucially, I'm also Pasita Abad's nephew. Pasita Abad was a Filipino-American artist who was known for her Trapunto paintings. This was a way of making that she started experimenting with in the late 70s, and it involved numerous processes layered together on a single surface. Her painted canvases are quilted, embroidered, and embellished with a wide variety of materials, from seashells to sequins to ribbons to buttons, even to plastic fruit. The exhibition begins with Pasita's early experimentations with Trapunto painting and how her travels deeply shaped how she made work. More than anything, it was itineracy that perhaps informed how Pasita's practice evolved. She was born in an island called Batanes, which is in the northernmost tip of the Philippines, and then grew up in Manila, but then proceeded to live in like a bewildering amount of countries, from the United States to Indonesia, to Bangladesh, to Singapore, and then traveled to even more. A key work in this exhibition is Sampaloc Walls, one of the earliest Trapuntas that Abad completed. This work was inspired by the crumbling walls of downtown Manila, where she grew up. In 1969, Pasita immigrated to San Francisco. Her own experiences as an immigrant and her encounters with other immigrants of color led to the creation of her Immigrant Experience series in the early 90s. Unlike her early abstractions, these works were heavily informed by social realism and depicted the lived experiences of the many people she encountered, from Korean grocers to Cambodian refugees to Dominican house painters. LA Liberty is exemplary of the series. This work reimagines the Statue of Liberty as a woman of color to create a more inclusive representation of immigration in the United States. In the late 90s, Abad returned to abstraction as a way of responding to personal and political crises. While living in Jakarta, she witnessed the fall of the Suharto dictatorship and created the monumental abstract painting, The Sky is Falling, The Sky is Falling, as a response. Displayed alongside this work are other monumental abstractions, from the eight meter high painting, Fly into a Rage, to Life in the Margins, from which the exhibition gets its title. Life in the Margins combines Pasita's fascination with Indonesian batik textiles and her love for the energy and structure of blues music. This work exemplifies how she combines different cultural forms, often in unexpected ways. Through the course of putting together this exhibition, what's been amazing is to realize how contemporary these works are, despite having been made in response to their times. It seems that we're facing similar questions today. What does it mean to be multicultural? Who is considered marginal? And what forgotten stories need telling?